What is up, my tech world? Your boy Mike Mitchell Tech in the building. I know it's been a while, you haven't seen me in a good amount of time. Thought I'd come out with a quick little tutorial video to show you guys um, if you updated your iPad to the iOS 5, which everybody should have done by now, unless you're jailbroken, or unless you have an iPhone 4S, you've noticed significantly battery drain. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. But yeah, batteries drain and sits in your pocket and it drains. I don't know what the deal is, but. Here's a quick little fix. I'm not saying this is going to help you out a whole bunch, but it will help somewhat. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go right into settings. As you guys can see, slide it right open. And we'll start at the very beginning. First, you want to go into location services. As you guys can see, I just got a notification right there. We're going to go into uh, location services. Scroll all the way down to system services. You're going to click there. And you want to turn off setting time zone, location based iAds diagnostics and usage turn those off you can turn off the other two also I'm not 100% sure on what they do but I'm not gonna turn them off but you can just do not turn off call or cell network search then we're gonna go back and we're gonna go into general about we're gonna scroll all the way down diagnostics and uses Ugh. can't ever say that but you guys know what I'm saying you could read it and as you guys can see, this is helping Apple improve their products. They should already know that the battery is draining. It's not doing anything like they said it would. So go ahead and click Don't Send because it sends constant information and it's constantly burning your battery out. And as you guys can also see, to save battery, if you're already connected to Wi-Fi on AT&T, I mean, well, you have the 3G on AT&T or Sprint, and you're connected to Wi-Fi, you can go into General Network and you can turn cellular data off because you're on Wi-Fi right now so why you don't need to use your data unless don't do this if you're using your data but if you're connected to Wi-Fi all day for a while you can turn it off and then when you need it you can turn it right back on it's real simple as that And that's another quick fix and then we also have notifications if I could find that um, I'm gonna. You can turn off uh, location services for certain things. Also, I'm gonna turn it off for Twitter, Google Plus, Facebook. I don't really need that on there. And then we're gonna go into notifications. Obviously, right in front of my face. And as you guys can see, there's a whole bunch of these apps. But seriously, some of them don't even. What do I need a notification for? Um, stock widget. I don't like that. I don't know if you guys like it, but you can turn it off using battery. I fart. It's kind of funny. Uh, I'm going to turn that off. I don't need notifications for that. Also, you want to, while you're in notifications, one that really drains the battery is calendar. Turn that off. If you, unless you use it a lot, you might want to keep it on, but I don't use it at all, so turn it off because that kills your battery. It's constantly checking. And those are just simple things right there you guys can see. Um, that's definitely going to save a lot of battery life for you. So go ahead and try those things and leave a comment below. Tell me what, what's going on with you. How's your battery draining? For the iPad, pretty much the same exact settings. You just want to do exactly what I said with the iPhone if you have an iPad. So this is your boy Mike Mitchell Tech. Come to me if you don't succeed first. And I'll see you all in the next video, man. Deuces.